What is going on guys Z here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the RAM in your Dell Inspiron 7559. Now this can be applied to all other laptops especially if you can access the RAM slots. So if you can access the RAM slots and you did want to upgrade the RAM in your laptop first thing you want to do is make sure you're choosing the right kind of RAM when you are purchasing it. So if you didn't know what kind of RAM you needed go ahead and download this tool called CPU-Z. Now CPU-Z basically tells you what components you have in your laptop, especially your CPU. And if you click on the memory, on the memory tab, and you click and you look at where it says type, it should say if you have DDR3 or DDR, DDR4. Now once you found out which DDR RAM type you had, go ahead, head over to Amazon, Newegg, wherever you buy your RAM. Choose the RAM, you can't go wrong with Kingston, Crucial, all the famous brands. Pick up your RAM, make sure it's the same type of RAM that you're using. Go ahead, buy it, and now I'm going to be showing you how to place the RAM in the slot of your laptop, particularly with the Inspiron 7559. So for this particular laptop, you're gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver, and you're gonna to need to locate the one screw that you have there on the top. Now in other laptops, you'll have a bunch of other screws in order to locate the internals of your laptop. But this particular model, the 7559, only has one screw, which is pretty awesome, actually. Now, it does have a bunch of clips on the side, so you need to be careful when removing the lid, because you don't want to crack any clips. Now, since I've removed my lid many times, I'm not really worried. I sort of have experience doing it. Now, here you'll see two slots where you can put two sticks of RAM. Now, one slot is already taken with 8 gigabytes with one stick of 8 gigabytes. Now, in order to add the RAM, you're going to need to add it to the top slot. Here, I'm actually putting it in the bottom slot because I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM as of now. I won't be upgrading anytime soon because I don't need it. So, anyway, once you have the RAM, make sure the lesser pins are on the right side. Take the RAM, put it in at a 45 degree angle, then just push down on the actual RAM because as you see there, you'll need the pins to actually insert into the grooves of the RAM. So now I'm actually gonna replay that for you so you guys will get a better idea. So you're gonna be inserting it in the top part of the RAM, the top part. I'm inserting it at the bottom. Just take it, push it in at a 45 degree angle. There's no resi there's literally no resistance in there. You just take it 45 degree angle, push it in a little bit, then push down. And as you can see the clips the pins on the side are going to go into the groove there, into the C circle, the half circle groove. And that is pretty much how you do it. So now once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your cover. Stick the pins in from the bottom to the top. So go ahead and insert from the bottom again to the top. So you want to make sure the clips are inserted from the bottom part to the top where the screw is. And press down going along the sides first and going all the way moving along the top to the top screw. So all the clips are inserted. Now what you want to do is obviously you're going to put the screw back in there and then you're pretty much done. You now have an upgraded amount of RAM in your laptop. So guys, that is how you upgrade the RAM in the Dell Inspiron 7559. Now remember, not all RAM is the same. You have desktop RAM, you have laptop RAM, you have DDR3 RAM, you have DDR4 RAM. Some RAM is more expensive than other RAM. You want to get go with the better brands like Kingston, Crucial, Samsung and you also want to make sure that you're getting the right amount of RAM. So now since you already have 8 gigabytes of RAM in the Inspiron 7559, all you'll need is another extra 8 gigabytes of RAM because the maximum capacity of the Inspiron 7559 is only 16 gigabytes. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. If this video did help you out, give it a thumbs up. If you did have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.